It's like a mango milk. Don't know how they do it. Hot boy. What's up everyone? Today we're doing another Budapest video. In today's video, I'll take you to a Moody Cafe for us to try some Kruppens. Then we'll go to a Norwegian Scandi bar to get some craft beer before having our best meal in Budapest so far. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see us try Hungarian Jägermeister. If you wanna follow along with my journey through Europe or help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Happy Friday. Not sure if you can tell, it's like mega gloomy, super gray. I guess it rained earlier. I'm prepared if it rains again. We are going to a cafe to do a little coffee and pastry. Let's check it out. All right, we're here at Nine Bar. I think I heard about this from two food trippers, not sure. Let's check out the inside, get some coffee and drinks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's the coffee board. Batman. Some guitars and a bike. Very, very cool. And we've got some Lego Steve's back here. Super cool. And they've got kind of like a, I don't know what you call this, guest book on the wall. And where people are from. So Yunji got the tomato feta Danish. Got the second to the last one. Yunji got some cool latte art. Some espresso. I don't want to ruin it. It's so cute. Mm. What a rainy day. Cappuccino is like. How is your cappuccino? Really good. Get the, get the branding. <gasps> so In case so you cute. ever go to past nine bar. Pretty good, just a little bitter. Maybe a little chocolatey, like I said. This is gonna be gone soon. I'm gonna conserve for that. The pastry is good. I'll try to, I didn't get any cheese or tomatoes, so we'll come back later. Life happens. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good. How is it? Really good. Maybe like a little sweet. But like the pistachio cream, like the crumb and the, the flaking of the pastry. Yeah. Sweet with coffee. It's a nice match. Happy boy. It's nice, the butter and the tomato on the pastry. Nice flavors for sure. And it's always good for me, savory and sweet. Doing double sweet, gets dicey. Well, very good. I So I'd say highly recommend or recommend that place. It's probably my second favorite that I can think of, kind of like Cafe Bakery. The three women working there are really sweet and helpful. I thought they did a really, really good job of upselling. I'm curious who their manager is. They also did this thing where they say, see you tomorrow. And when I walked in, I heard them say that to a guy and I was like, oh, he must like live nearby and come every day. But I'm almost positive their manager or owner like instructed them to do that as like a psychological thing. And then they just did really good job of things like, yeah, like uh, when I ordered an espresso and when you order a cappuccino, they're like, yeah, like double or instead of just, you know, we order a cappuccino or espresso, probably brought the single or regular. And then at the end, they're like, yeah, also, would you like some fresh squeezed juice? So 
very well run. I thought they did a good job. Usually that stuff annoys me, but they did it in such a good way. Both pastries were really good. I thought Yunji's savory one, the feta was bomb. And my in with pistachio, like that's such a good combo. My only critique, and it didn't affect us, is we got there at like 8.30, they open at eight, and I got the second to last pistachio cruffin. So I'm not sure what time you'd need to go to get lucky enough to get that. Cool, kind of like moody vibe, very like nice place to hang out. 10% service is included, but I would recommend that. I don't think we'll go back just because there's other, so many other places I want to check out. Uh, but I would recommend, especially if you're in the area, to check it out or if you want a cruffin or something with pistachio. We are heading out. It is still gloomy, hence why I'm wearing a sweater. We're going to check out a bar or two on the way to lunch. We're gonna check out a place we keep walking by, check the menu, check the vibe. If that doesn't work, there's a craft beer place and brewery tap room situation right by lunch. So let's see what we get into. You're coming. Are you feeling deja vu? So this is Skull. We have walked by many a times. This might be the time to pull the trigger here. Let's take a look at the menu. Here is a quick look at this. Sorry, this is so small. Feel free to bust. So Yunji opted for some white wine. I did the Pilsner, it's Pilsner Urkel. I was tempted with some of the craft. They've got Monio and Mad Scientist, which are both nearby, but good price here. Egishigadre? How's it stack up to last night's white wine? Worse? <laughs> Too, uh, so not dry enough? Or? A little sweet. So I'd probably love it. Yeah, yeah. Yunji typically doesn't love the pilsners. It's growing on me though. Oh really? Well yeah. this is what this is what you'll be drinking for the next five weeks once we leave here. This doesn't have that like metal taste yeah. that most pilsners have. I'm drinking Pilsner Urkel, proudly brewed from the Czech Republic for hundreds of years. Maybe she could have. Great prices. It's about two dollars, and I'm realizing I need a lapel mic. It looks like they have a dehydrator. We both thought these were waffles, but they're just dehydrating oranges, limes, and probably lemons for cocktails. It's serious business, folks. We've got some tasters, the Mad Scientist and the Yeast side, which I haven't heard of. This is Yunji trying the Mad Scientist. No? Super sorry. My bad, that was the yeast, the Ooh, this is New the England IPA. This is the mango milkshake or something from Mad Scientist, which is right around the corner. Uh oh. Hey Mikey, she likes it. Yeah, but I'm gonna get this one. You're gonna get that one? Alright. New England IPA, Boston Kit. That is very good. This is funky. I might get this. This is, this is The mango? Yeah, this is weird. I'll get this. It tastes like a mango milk. Don't know how they do it. Yunji got the Superside New England IPA. I got the Mad Scientist Mango Milkshake, which is mega funky and super tasty. We're rocking what I'm gonna call the Monio glasses, even though clearly they just put a sticker over it. It's windy, so sorry for the audio. I would go as far as to say that was one of my favorite bars. Just very chill, laid back, really good location. Great prices. They've got one, two, they've got like four beers, uh, craft on tap, and then three normal ones, but just great prices. You can get coffee. I think there's food, but just for the location, the vibe, and what's available, uh, I would highly recommend checking out school. All right, we're heading to lunch. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a table. We have no reservation. No reservations. And then what we're passing here is first craft beer. Tap room, crap beer, and barbecue. This is where we were gonna come, but we stayed for a second drink at Skor. Okay, so there's, yeah, so this is the other place, and the prices are pretty good. They brew their own beer. Can drop a pin there, but we're gonna head to lunch right now. So this is Dobrumba. It's like a m Middle Eastern or like Arabic food spot. 
Yoon's just gonna do the vertical stuff for TikTok right now. So here's an outside look. We're gonna see if they will seat us. It's two o'clock on a Friday. We'll see what we can do. The guy just walked right past us. So this is the spot. This is Dobrumba. Not sure what I caught on film, but uh, someone just like walked right past the energy and then the host was like, oh, I think they were here first. So she gave us a table. It seems like you got a table, but I'll check out the menu. Let's get some comides. Smells so good in here. It smells like curry, I think. Yeah, so some aperitivos, so some drinks. Ooh, Lille Spritz Blanc. We watched a TikTok recently about Lille, and now suddenly I want Lille. I have no idea what it is, but I want Lille. And I think, I don't know, there is wine somewhere. Oh, she's got the wine menu. I'm a little drunk from the bar. I'm not. Suck it up. So I need to start doing this thing I talked about with Yoonji. I almost always guess what she's gonna order. And I totally thought she wanted the lemon ch chicken tagine or the couscous de pesci. And what do you want to order? What are you thinking about? Lemon chicken tagine and the couscous de pesci. Yeah, so, but there's no way anyone's gonna believe me. So we're gonna have to work on that segment. And then I'm between the hummus paprika or the labne jug. And then I think I'm gonna get the piri piri chicken with tomato rice because that's what I wanted and Yoonji's interested in it. Worth noting that inflation continues being crazy. The wine we used to be 500, now it's 650. Maybe the website was delayed, but it's all good. All right, I think we did some good ordering. Yunji really was stressed annoying. out, but well, I, I preface by saying like I have a lot of questions. Yeah. We ended up ordering the couscous de pesci. Pesci, pesci, pesci. I'd say pesci, italiano, but yeah. That's a... um, just because I think we're already ordering chicken with a piri piri chicken, so. Couscous de pesci. What did you say? Pesci, like Joe Pesci. De pesci. Yeah. Are you sure that's She said pesci also. Oh, I didn't hear it. Just gotta live your life, live your truth. All right, thanks. And then we're between the labne jug, and labne is like a yogurty thing, and as well as the hummus paprika, which instead of tahini, it's like the spicy Aleppo pepper thing. She said those are her two favorite. Yunju is feeling the jug, which is totally fine. We're playing with house money. Based on the smell and the vibe, I'm already feeling like we should come back. I just realized something. The whole reason we're here on a Friday is because they have this like weekday special where if you order an entree or something for above 1900 foreign, you either get the daily soup or dessert for free. Totally forgot to broach that subject, so. All right, a lot has been solved. We've got two espressos because I'm fading two house white wines. This is the green jug with some Pita. Espresso sometimes are necessary before and or after a meal. Might be the best one so far. Yeah. Let's get into it. Maybe thumbnail action. Mm. That's bomb. We love yogurt. Yes, we but do. Like, and we love herbs and we love olive oil. It's so good. So like light and fresh, herby, flavor, delicious. Pino. like olive oil, there's olive oil. We like herbs, it's just so tasty. And it's like light, refreshing, yum. I've been eating this every single day. Freaking love it, oh my God, it's so good. So it might be yogurt, but it's definitely cheese. It's a cheese spread, so no wonder, <laughs> no wonder the kids are so happy. Maybe it's like a cream cheese. Yeah, that would have to do a lot with the texture. It definitely seems much more cream cheese than yogurt, yeah. World's best vlogger here, guys. You know, you know, you come here for the facts. This is the couscous de pesci in a tagine. 
This is the Piri Piri Chicken, big boy vibes. Oh, there are some shrimps in here. Some shrimps, where's the fish? Hmm. It's mostly, oh, there we go. There's some fishy. Fishy, fishy. Cucumber, spinach, tomato, couscous. There's some good flavor. The fish is great, the sauce is great. I like the texture of the spinach. The couscous is a little dry for me. We'll see what Yunji thinks about that. Let's do a little gambone. Hot boy. The sauce in the seafood is perfect for me. Couscous is a little dry for me. I like the spinach on here. Get some freshness, give some texture. I really like the tomato sauce on the fish and the shrimp, and the seafood's cooked perfectly. Custom. Custom. A little palate cleanse. I guess you. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're basically Hungarian now. Biggest thing for you. We've got the curry curry sauce. We've got peppers. We've got parsley or cilantro. I'm gonna pray to God that that's cilantro. Looks like cilantro. This chicken smells fuego. I'm just gonna use mayonnaise. Look at that skin. That is prop. It smells so good. We'll go with the sauce. This is for Portugal. Portugal and Hungary. This is fantastic. This is it. Chicken thigh, perfect cook, yummy sauce. This is delicious. I don't think I've changed anything. This is one of the best dishes I've had. I forget how much it costs. I think it's like $8, 9 Great portion. Protein's great, the skin, the seasoning, the sauce, the salad, the rice. I think it's my favorite. Wait till the July recap or the best things I can July, this will be on the list. Are you happy about ordering this? Yeah, because double chicken I think would be weird. I'm, I'm curious to see, there's a little more lemon if you want. What is that? What? That is couscous. That's just a clump? Yeah. Michael Clump. I actually love couscous. That's one of my favorite grains. Mm. Can I dip? Yeah. Is that gross? No. There is no spoon. Mm. Combo. Fish or shrimp? Shrimp. shrimp. Fish is good too though. Really good. Mm. I like this dish a lot. Yeah. I would do chicken, I would dip it, and then I would eat some rice. And I would try the pepper. Yeah. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. A little Sky Ferrer in the background. YouTube don't copyright me, please. And then what? Hit me in the comments if you know who Sky Ferrer is. Hit the, yeah, hit the salad or the, the chili. Mm. That's so good. I barely choose like land protein over the sea. The sea protein. But this, this is so good. It's so good. This is the babusa. It's a Levant semolina cake with orange blossom syrup, toasted almonds, and thick yogurt. Boss Busa, my B fam. And this is the date brownie with a side of shadow. It is lactose free date brownie with tahini foam, pistachio, and pomegranate. Bon appétit, mon ami.
very interesting. Very spongy brown, like brownie. The tahini foam is very... The tahini reminds me of peanut butter more than anything. Interesting textures, yeah. The brownie's not like cakey and dense. It's like kind of spongy. Yeah, good wear. Just in an interesting way. Let me see doesn't like, like it. Doing that. Let's go that <laughs> oh, he really doesn't like it. The bus pizza. Ooh, that, that cut nice. This is so us because this is just Greek yogurt on top. What is it? It's a semolina cake. Toasted almonds and thick yogurt, but this yogurt like this is like everything we eat at home. We eat Greek yogurt or everything. The, this cake is just like moist as hell. Toasted almonds, the pomegranate, but the yogurt just like it's sour that it rounds it out. The cake is just so gooey. And I almost get like rose water or something. This is delicious. And the yogurt doesn't make you feel like you're. The yogurt helps you feel healthy about eating this like rose water, super moist cake with the pomegranate season and the toast on it. This is incredible. Should have listened to the waiter and got two of these, but let's see what Yunji thinks about the ranch. Well, S H I T. That's not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like the brownies. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the brownies, don't get them. What do you think about the tahini foam? Not even try it. She somehow avoided the liquid. out for us then. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think that was the best meal we've had. Best food, maybe not best service, but best vibe, best food, just best experience. The coffee was delicious. The wine was fantastic. The food was fantastic. The prices were great. I would order everything we got. I think we're gonna go back, so I've got other things to order. We're gonna go run home. The sun came out, I'm gonna drop this off. We're gonna drop the umbrella off and we're gonna get some digestivos. Don't touch that dial. Man, I just recorded the wrong way and I was talking about how I don't need sunglasses. That has changed. Anyways, this is lastly, lastly, this is likely the last thing we do today. We're gonna check out a bar we've been meaning to check out. It opens every day at two, which sounds early, but is usually not. It's about 4.30. So we're gonna try to get a digestivo here, check it out and see where the day takes us. And gold building. All right, looks like WW Club's actually open. This is WW Club. The reason we'd been wanting to come here is just they have insane prices and promos both for beer and for Unicum. All right, this is our first time trying Unicum, the Hungarian, basically, Jägermeister. Cheers. Yes. Unicum. Egeshi, Egeshi, Egeshi. It smells like... It smells like Jäger. Ginseng, oh, okay. Jäger or ginseng. Oh yeah. I like it. More herbal than Jäger. It's very herbally. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't taste like Jaeger to me. I also can't, I couldn't tell you the last time I had Jaeger. Yeah, better than the couple at the last bar that had this that couldn't, I don't even think they finished it. What was this? I'd drink this. Good for digestion. It's very like medicinal. Medicinal, like, anise black licorice. Yeah. Drink about half of it. 
I also I just brushed my teeth, so it tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> Brush your teeth back. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had Unicorn. I kinda like it. Side of WW Club. Another look at WW Club. Might be back for a beer Unicum special. <laughs> <laughs>